This training video is produced by Fresenius Medical Care to help you use the Balance Stay Safe system. The balance system is manufactured from Biofine. Unlike other CAPD systems, Biofine has no PVC and therefore produces minimal environmental pollution both in its production and the disposal of waste. The balance system is easier to use than most other CAPD systems. The disc controls the sequence of the process step by step, thus reducing the probability of mistakes. Your doctor and nurses at your PD center will show you how to use the balance system safely and effectively, while guiding you through the different day-to-day -day skills necessary to undertake your own PD treatment. Your doctor or nurse in your PD center will prescribe your dialysis schedule and teach you how to fit it into the requirements of your everyday life. When doing CAPD, you should be able to carry on with your everyday life whilst setting aside time several times a day for the CAPD exchange procedure. Before you start to prepare for the bag exchange, close the doors, windows, turn off air conditioning or fan to prevent drafts. Then you'll need to wash your hands using Frecasoft or other recommended antimicrobial liquid soap. Clean the work table that you will use for the exchange procedure. Make sure that all your supplies are ready for the CAPD exchange. Place onto the clean table the organizer, the frecocept, the mask if required by your PD center and the disinfection cap. You can also insert the organizer into the holder fixed to the infusion pole. The fluid should be warmed up using a dry warming method such as Thermosafe Plus. Check with your PD center which method you should use to warm up your bag. Check the fluid for correct volume, glucose percentage, expiry date and ensure that the bag is intact and then place it on the clean table. Put on the mask, if required by your PD center. Peel open the outer wrapper of the PD fluid and leave it in the package. Be careful not to touch the inner bag. Peel open the outer wrapper of the disinfection cap and leave it in the package. Make your way to the bathroom. If you're wearing any rings, bracelets or a watch, remove them. This is important to decrease the amount of germs on your hands and under your jewelry. Roll your sleeves up to elbow level. Fold back and secure any loose clothing. Take the extension line out from beneath your clothing. Proceed to wash your hands thoroughly using Frecasoft or other liquid antimicrobial soaps. Wet your hands first. Then add the soap. Pay particular attention to the areas between your fingers, wrists and lower arms.
Dry your hands using a disposable paper towel, which you will also use to turn off the taps. Make sure that you do not touch anything with your hands. To close the door, use the back of your elbow or your foot. Remove the bag from the outer wrap. Separate the new bag from the drain bag. Separate the lines and place the disc in the organizer. Place the bag in the vertical position with the tubing in the uppermost position. Fold the corner of the bag at the blue injection site. If you are right-handed, this should be done to the right. If you are left-handed, this should be done to the left. Place one hand over the fold and press firmly downwards with both hands. This will break the central seam of the balance bag whilst leaving the safety seam intact. Place the bag flat on the table. Starting at the top of the bag with lines facing away from your body, roll firmly in a downwards direction. This will break the safety seam. Press down three to four times on the bag to thoroughly mix the contents of the bag before continuing your exchange. Now you can hang the solution bag up on the infusion pole. Unroll the tubing that leads from the solution bag to the disc. Place the disc into the organizer, press it down firmly and place the lines into the guideline of the organizer. Unroll the line that leads from the disc to the drainage bag. Then place the drainage bag on a lower level position. Place the disinfection cap into the organizer. If you are right-handed, insert it into the left-hand side of the organizer. If you are left-handed, insert it into the right side of the organizer. This is important to avoid accidentally touching the disc once the protective cap has already been removed from the disc. Place your extension line into the right-hand side of the organizer. On the left side, if you are left-handed. Ensure that your clamp is closed. Now that you have placed the lines into the organizer, you will need to disinfect your hands using Frecocept or other recommended antimicrobial solutions. Make sure that you turn away from your bag change area and rub your hands until they are completely dry. Remove the protective cap from the disc and discard it. Unscrew the catheter extension from the disinfection cap and screw it onto the disc. Leave the old disinfection cap in its place. Open the clamp on your extension line. The outflow will immediately start as the dial is already positioned on the first dot. Make sure you check that the outflow has begun. The drainage process usually takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Your PD center will teach you how to know when you have completed the drainage. Turn the dial slowly clockwise to the second position marked with two dots. Then count to five. The fluid will pass from the solution bag directly to the drainage bag in order to flush the air from the tubing. Now turn the dial clockwise to the first of the three dots on the third position. These three dots offer flexible inflow rates. On the first dot, you will notice an open circle. This means that the fluid flow is paused. On the second dot, you will notice a half open circle. This means that the flow rate is reduced. Please note that if you leave the dial on this dot, the fluid will take longer to flow in. On the third dot, you will notice a closed circle. This means that the flow will be at its fastest rate. The inflow should take about 10 minutes. When the solution bag is empty, turn the dial clockwise to the last of the four dots on the fourth position. You will feel the dial come to a complete stop. This is important as the pin will automatically be released into your catheter extension line to close the peritoneal access. Close the clamp on your catheter extension line. Rinse your hands if required by your PD center. 
Unscrew the protection cap from the new disinfection cap and place it onto the used disinfection cap. Unscrew your catheter extension line from the disc. The pin will be in the catheter extension line. This ensures that the peritoneal access is closed, thus providing a protective barrier to bacteria. Now, screw your catheter extension line into the new disinfection cap. To complete the procedure, remove the catheter extension line from the organizer. The pin is visible through the transparent cap. Place the extension line back underneath your clothing. Take the used disinfectant cap out of the organizer. Turn the cap and screw it onto the disc to close the system. Check the weight of the drained dialysate. Refer to your PD center on how to proceed with recording the dialysate volume. If the dialysate is cloudy, please contact your PD center immediately and keep the fluid for analysis. If the dialysis fluid is clear, remove the system from the organizer. Discard the fluid and the empty lines and bags. Clean the organizer once a day with warm soapy water and dry it thoroughly. Prepare the new bag. Check the glucose concentration, expiry date, volume of the solution and make sure that the outer wrapping is not damaged. Place the bag onto the warming plate making sure that the fluid bag is in direct contact with the plate. Turn on the ThermoSafe Plus. Check with your PD center which warming method you should use. We hope that this video has been helpful in demonstrating the procedure. Your doctor and dialysis nurse will teach you more about starting CAPD.